And the thing is, is that we think that we have to, to do all these things and perform all these ways and do these certain things when you don't. You just need to say, here I am. Here I am. Because we don't have to be used right away. There is a growing season. There's a, a growing season where he pours into you. That way there can be fruit later on. We're not always there. We're not always here to be doing something for him. Sometimes we just need to sit and be fed. That's just, I mean, it's just, it is. Like how many times do you think you, I mean, anybody who has a word life or a prayer life, how many times have you gone into prayer and you went into your word and you walked away and you're like, nothing. You know, and there's times where you walk in your prayer life and your word life and you're weeping and you're crying because God has shown up. See, the word of God has always been from the beginning. If it's from the beginning all the way through Revelations, what does that tell you? It's important. It's very important to pursue relationship. Relationship can be uncomfortable, especially with an unseeing God. Because when you have relationship with a human, you see them. You see their reactions. You see their face. You see that. But here's the thing. Anybody you can call a best friend, you spent time with them. You broke bread with them. You went out to, you know, you, 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 you played video games with them. You went swimming with them. You do, I mean, I don't play video games, but I'm just trying to think of things that you do. Like, you go golfing with them. You put time and effort into a relationship is what I'm getting at. Same thing for your marriage. You got to know your spouse. You got to know them. And when you get to know them, then God shows you, hey, that's your wife or whatever, but you befriend them. And when you're spending that time, see, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to pursue him. See, reading your Bible is breaking the bread. Think about it. You open the Bible. What did Jesus do when he broke the bread? He tore the bread and gave it to people. What we do is we open this Bible and we give it to people. That's our job. That's what everybody's job is. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be this. But everybody's job is to have a relationship with the Lord because someday somebody's going to walk by your path and you're going to be able to give them some bread. And the bread is the bread of life. You know that? And when you bring them to the bread of life and you get to know them and then they come into the house of God, then the Holy Spirit gets to work in them and then they get to chase all the blood. They get to taste the blood. And the blood is salvation for their soul. And that is our responsibility. I'm telling you, man, I do not know, but there's a, there's a burning desire to just get the word of God out and to let people know that this, we're not playing around. That, that text message to all your, the men of God that you've, you text out on Sunday, is not, is, it's not false. That's powerful. And it's truth. And it's, and it's what we need. We need men to stand up and be men. We don't need them to be wearing mini skirts or stilettos or anything else. We need them to be men of God. We need them to be a covering over this generation again. See, because when you enter into a marriage with a, with a godly husband, a wife can be secure with the covering. So, see, what, un what was uncomfortable for me when God tells, when I read the word of God and he says I'm a bride, is like, I don't want to be a woman. That's the first thing you think of. You do not want to be, like, for, uh, like me, myself, is like, that's a little uncomfortable for me. It's vulnerable. Because it's telling me, hey, I got you. It's no longer about me. I got you. Because, see, that's the same thing about your wife and kids when you have a, 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 a spouse and a husband who is, who is on their face and in their word is they know that they, you got them. God's not going to let you sit on a couch and have your wife go work. He's going to be like, you get up and you go make the dough. Because that's what it's supposed to be.